Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. In today's video we are jumping into the world of motion design. Today we will create the menu button or you can call it an action button that will prompt us with different options. Everything will look animated and fun thing is that we only use CSS to animate our button. So there is no need for JavaScript. Let's code. First of all, before we start coding, let me introduce to you how can we do this feature. For example, if I click on this home button, it will prompt me with four options. And as I mentioned, we will only use CSS for this. So how will I prompt this button to obviously show me these four options if I'm not using JavaScript? Well, for start, our home button will be a checkbox in a background. So, if that is checked, then we will animate and show our menu items. If it's not, items won't be visible at all. Also, before we start doing our code, let's first of all see what we have in our code. We can see that we only have this default HTML file with this style sheet, well, my own styles.css file, which is currently empty, and also my font awesome icons. If you wish, you can use your own icons. So let's start working on this. In my body, I will first put the comment of menu wrapper as we will create our wrapper that will wrap our entire menu and items inside. So for that, I will create a div with a class of menu wrapper. And let me also put ending comment here like end of menu wrapper. And that's good enough. So inside of my div, first thing that I will have is that checkbox. So I will again put the comment of menu checkbox and let's create the input field that will hold the type of checkbox instead of a text. Next to my type, I will also pass the ID here. The ID will be menu underscore checkbox and we will need this ID because we will also use a label and we will connect this label by this ID to this input field. Also, I will create the class here as well. So class will be called menu checkbox. So we could style this checkbox by this class later. Let me also put the ending comment here. So end of menu checkbox. That's good enough. Now, after my checkbox, I mentioned that I will need my label. So here I will put the comment of menu label and let's work on that one. I will create the label here, which will hold the four attribute of menu checkbox because these four attributes should be the same as the ID in our input field. And also I will use a class here of home because this label will hold a home icon on it. So let's create such an icon. Inside of my label, I will create the uh, I tag and the class will be FAS for font awesome, then FA home for home icon. Here I will also put end of menu label comment. You can see that we are dividing our code for the checkbox, for the label, and now we will do the same for our menu. So inside here, let's put the comment of menu and let's create a div with the class of menu. This menu itself will hold our items inside. So those options that will be prompted once we check our checkbox. So the items will be just anchor tags. We don't even need to use href here because it won't lead us anywhere. We can use classes here to style our anchor tags. So I will use class of FAB action, which stands for font awesome button action, because this class should work as an action. Well, this item inside of our menu should work as an action. And I will put another class here called action one, which will be my class to specifically style this item. My items will hold icons inside, so I will create the i tag. For my first one, I will pass the class of FAS for font awesome, then FA question. And now we can copy this three more times. So one, two, three. Let's now change this. This will be action two, then we will have action three and action four. Classes will be FAS, FA cog, then FAS, FA chart line, and the last one 
will be FA user class. Also, I will put the ending comment for my menu. End of menu. So, this is all of our markup that we need. We have our menu wrapper, we have our input field, well, a checkbox that will, will serve us to check and uncheck our action button. We have a label for that checkbox and our menu with menu items. Let's now move to our CSS. In my CSS, I will first put the comment of menu wrapper, as that is the first thing that we will work on. So, let's target our menu wrapper by menu wrapper class and I will position my menu wrapper fixed. I will move it to a bottom side of 48 pixels and also right 48 pixels. So our button will be at the bottom right side. Now that you have this menu, you can move your button or your action button wherever you wish, like bottom left, top left, top right or even a center of a screen. After our menu wrapper, we will work on our checkbox. So put the comment for menu checkbox. And let's target that checkbox by a class of menu checkbox. That's good enough. The only thing that I wish for my checkbox is to display it as a none. Because we don't really wish to see our checkbox on our screen. So how will we toggle our checkbox? How we will click on it and toggle it, check it and uncheck it if we are not seeing it on a screen? Well, that is why we used our label here and the label with the four attribute is connected to our checkbox. So once we click on our label, the checkbox will be checked or unchecked. So talking about that label, let's work on it. First of all, put the menu label comment. And I will target first of all my home. Home stands for my label itself. Inside of my home, what I wish is basically to style my action button, that label that I need. So I will position this absolute, then bottom will be zero, then I will put right to be zero, and I will put width of 60 pixels and height of 60 pixels that is how big our button will be border radius can be like 100 percent or 50 percent to be a circle then background color can be for example ff4081 so this pink color now i will also use box shadow here zero pixels five pixels 20 pixels and the shadow will also be a bit pinkish so f181 cf that's good enough next to that i wish to have my transition on my label to say all is 0.3 seconds because we will have a hover effect on our label and the z index will be one so it can come up in front of our other buttons our menu items and the menu items will be hidden behind it and i will use cursor of pointer here so when we hover over it later, there will be a cursor of pointer. Now talking about that hover, let's use here again home and hover pseudo class to style our label for, well, hover effect. First of all, I will change the background color of my label to say FB76A2, a bit lighter pink color. And also I will change my box shadow now to be 0 pixel, 5 pixel, 20 pixel. And I will use fourth value for spread here, so 5 pixel here, and the color will be same, so F181CF. And with this we are finished up with our label, but in our label we also do have our icon, so let's style that now. So for my icon, I can target my icon by targeting it with the FA home class, and for it I will put position to absolute, then top 50 percentages, left 50 percentages and we need to move it in a center of our label so i will use here transform translate x minus 50 percentages and translate epsilon minus 50 percentages obviously you can move it in a center by css grid flexbox and also by this position so for this example i chose this position so color for my uh, icon will be fff fff which is a white color then font size of the icon will be 30 pixel to make that home icon a bit bigger and transition will be all is 0.3 seconds. Now that we are finished with our label, let's move down and work on our menu items. 
So first of all, I will put menu comment here and I will target my menu itself. So my menu wrapper will be positioned absolute. So absolute position here. Then bottom will be 20 pixel and the right will be 20 pixel. If I use zero and zero here, then the icons will just a bit of outside of our label, our main action button. So it won't be so good hidden behind. Then I will use width of 160 pixels. This is well basically the width of entire menu wrapper and we will be able to spread our menu items uh, in the boundaries of this width and also the height. So let's use the height of 160 pixels again. Now transition for this one will be all is 0.3 uh, seconds. Yeah, that's good enough. And I will use something called transform origin. I will set bottom right side. With this means I use just transform. Let me use transform origin. This means that the origination of our animation will start at the bottom right. And how we will do that animation? Well, I will use transform here and scale. It will start as a zero and once we click on our checkbox, it will scale this uh, whole menu to a one. So basically the menu will be visible and spread uh, in the boundaries of our width and height. So let's work on that checked example. So here I will use menu, but not the menu, but menu checkbox. And once this is checked, so use checked pseudo class, then here I will target my menu. Once this is checked, my menu will hold transform of scale one. So basically once we check our checkbox, once we click on our label, which will check our checkbox, then our menu will scale in size. And the last thing is to work on our action buttons. So here I will use action buttons comment and let's style all of those. For all of our action buttons, our items basically in our menu, we do have one class which will be repeatable. This fab action. So for this class I will target it and by this I will style all of my four items inside. So position absolute for all of those. Then I will use background color to be uh, FF4081. That's good enough. Then width of each of those will be 48 pixel and the height will be 48 pixel then border radius should be used here like 50 percentages to make those as a circle i will now use here display of flex so why flex here well next to flex i wish to use align items to be center and also justify content to be center based on these we will spread our content inside of our action buttons and content stands only for our icons so by that you can see the both examples here we used position absolute and transform example and here we are using flexbox example. Now let's style our content inside like color could be FFF, FFF, then box shadow of our items could be 0, then 0 0.16 pixels and 16 pixels. The color will be F181 CF that's good enough. And transition here will be all is one second. So to transition this, it will take me one whole second. Also, I will use cursor pointer here for the hover effect. And the opacity of this will be zero initially. So now let's style those on a hover effect. So again, fab action. So what should happen when we hover over these? Well, we should do the same thing as we did for our home hover so i will copy this box shadow and my background color paste it here so the same hover effect will apply here as well so now we can see that we have this opacity of zero so when will this opacity change to one well it will change when our checkbox is checked so here i will again target my menu checkbox and checked pseudo class and then i will use well target my menu and inside of my menu i will target my fab action buttons so once this happens once our checkbox is checked i will change the opacity to one similarly as we changed scale to one here and now each of our buttons should well be spread around so those are not stacked together 
all of those will have the position of absolute so we can just spread those around by top right left and bottom properties so for example i will target my menu and my action one item and i will use right here of minus 16 pixel and also top of zero so let's copy this three more times one two three let's change here action two action three action four and for my action two right value will be 52 pixel and the top value will be 8 pixel so let's move to action 3 now action 3 will be 8 pixel for right and for the top well not let's not use top let's use bottom here so bottom will be 52 pixel and the right one will be now left and it will be 8 pixel now also for my action 4 this right won't be right but left of zero and the top will be now bottom with the value of minus 16 pixel now before we go to test this let's go to a top here where we have our home i mistyped my border this should be border radius and also here where i used menu let's make some spacing between menu and fab action because we are not targeting menu with this class but just the menu and fab action inside so now we can test this here on my bottom right side we do have this action button if i click on it it will animate my other buttons here to be visible by this i can see that there is no hover effect so let's fix that so in my styles.css make sure to use hover pseudo class on fab action here and now in my browser if i open this i will see my hover effect for my each of my items here let me zoom this a bit so you could see it better, right? And I know that we don't usually work with motion animations. And to be honest, it cannot be simpler than this. If you like this format of videos, I will make sure that in the future we have more motion content. But this will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.